Today, we're going to use the 26 letters in the alphabet to create our artwork. Let's find out all the steps it takes to create this artwork. For your artwork, you can either create your artwork today vertically, tall like a building, just like Larry taught us, or you can turn your paper horizontally, wide like a hot dog. Then write your name in the bottom right corner on the front and your class on the back of your paper. At the end of your table next to your basket, you're going to see a messy piece of cardboard. We call these our messy mats. Now our messy mat is a little bit smaller than our paper, but whenever we're painting close to the edge of the paper, you want to make sure that the messy mat is there to protect the table from getting too messy. I'm checking for three things today in order for you to get a paintbrush. I'm looking for your name, your class, and your messy mat ready. On your table today, you're going to see our paint supplies. You'll see a cup with black paint and you'll see eventually some paintbrushes. When we use our paintbrush to paint, we pretend our paintbrush is like a ballerina dancing across the paper, never scooting on its bum or dragging its bum across the paper. That would be a funny looking ballerina. If we do not take good care of our ballerina paintbrushes, then it hurts the hairs and it doesn't make it all pretty to paint with. When we're ready to paint, we gently dip the tip of the brush into the paint, never scooping out the paint like yogurt. Ew. Using the very tippy toes of my paintbrush, I'm going to begin with the first letter in the alphabet, which is A. We use too much paint and plop it onto our paper. It looks like yogurt or kind of like a booger of paint and we don't want that. Make sure you spread out that paint with the tippy toes of your paintbrush. When you're painting today, it's okay to sing the alphabet in your head or quietly out loud at your table. This will help you spell all the letters in your artwork today. Our goal today when painting our letters is to paint them in all different sizes. Some might be uppercase, some might be lowercase. Finish painting all 26 letters. Gently wipe off the paint on the side of the cup and gently place your brush down into the tray to rest. When we are finished with two hands carrying it like a lunch tray, we're going to head over to the drying rack. Because our artwork is wet, we take it to a very special place in the art room, which is called the drying rack. This is where artwork hangs and dries until next time in art. When we slide our artwork into the drying rack, we don't just slide it in wherever, we make sure we slide it into the next slot that is open near the top. We work from top to bottom and fill in the drying rack. If you're having a hard time putting it into the drying rack, then please raise your hand patiently and Ms. Chen will be there to help you. Our 26 letters are finally dry and ready for some primary colors. Here's what you'll see at your table today. You'll see a basket with water filled up halfway and a towel and a paintbrush. You'll also see the three primary colors. The towel is kind of like a doormat outside of someone's house. You would wipe off your shoes gently. You would not squeeze your shoes. So. Gently wipe off your wet paintbrush, but don't squeeze the paintbrush. Carefully dip the tippy toes of your paintbrush into the paint. When you're ready to use another color, do not just dip it in. Carefully and slowly wash it in the water, not too fast or it's gonna splash everywhere, and gently dry it off on the towel. We're going to start off with the lightest color in our primary colors which is yellow. Using the yellow paint, we're going to hug the black lines with our yellow paint. 
Try your best to spread all that paint. Remember, we don't want to see any icky sticky boogers of paint on our artwork, do we? We are painting around the black lines, not on top. All right, we have red and yellow, and there's been one color that's been left out, which is blue. Now use blue to hug the red, yellow, and black lines. If you notice that your water in your basket is looking kind of muddy and brown and kind of gross, raise your hand and Ms. Chen will come help you fill it up with clean water. Just like last time in art, we need to take our wet artwork to a very special place. Do you remember what it's called, kindergarten? Do hands carefully bring it over. If you need help, raise your hand. 